at the DMG Mori open house here in their Fronten facility and we're about to tell you about their world premiere of this M2 machine. Now there is another machine in this range which was the M1 and it was only launched a couple of years ago so why are they now launching the M2 Paul? Well yes it's tremendous to be here to see these world premieres. I mean the M2 is an extension or it's a bigger, uh, it's the next model within the range so it's actually double the size in the x-axis whereas the M1 had uh, it was actually 550 millimeters in the X this has actually got 1100 so you've got much more capacity with a similar performance right okay and the size of the machine itself it's still a fairly small machine well it is and a lot of that comes down to how they construct and build the machine and part of that and a really important part is the traveling column uh, machining center that this is which basically means that that table there is fixed now you might be familiar with looking at machining centres and seeing the X and the Y axis move on the table. Yes. Very different here, it's moving on the column. And why is that so good? What's that going to do? Well it means you look at what you've got on the table here and I know we'll, we'll touch on that again in a minute but if you had say 300 or 400 kilograms of weight on this table every time you're machining you're moving that part to the spindle whereas with this machine you're moving the spindle to the part. Now that means that you're not continuously using that table wearing your ball screws, whatever the, uh, the axis drives are, to move that part to the spindle. It, it, it's a configuration that DMG Mori have looked at seriously here to make this machine perform, not just on day one, but throughout its life. They talk a lot about rigidity and accuracy, and the weight of this machine is a lot heavier than its uh, other model in the range, isn't it? Well, yeah, this, this is 3,400 kilograms. Now, that's not the whole machine, which some machining centers of this size might weigh. That's just the casting. Now that has a huge impact on performance of a machine. It means it can dampen, uh, as you're machining and you're machining harder materials, you're taking deeper cuts. It means you'll dampen out any of that vibration, which doesn't just protect the machine, it might give you better tool life, better surface finish. There's all of these things they've thought of in the machine build. That's their kind of world of excellence. That's why they say all of that technology is so high end as well. Now, um, there are a lot of parts on this table. Well, I think this is a good way to illustrate it, what you can do with a bigger machine because you've, you've even got a, a fourth axis unit on here. Then you've got, as you, as you quite rightly say, four or five other, or in fact, six other components. So what you're doing is you're, you're getting the most out of your working envelope. So the M1 slightly smaller, but the M2 gives you that more capacity with a similar performance. And who's going for these machines? This is really interesting because 50% of companies, I think you've mentioned this maybe, that bought the M1 were actually new users to yes. DMG Mori. So their ambition and their aim was to do exactly that and they've achieved it. So this machine, we look at the UK market, which is what we predominantly service and of course Europe. And there are engineering companies that might have one, two, three people within them. There are big OEMs that have hundreds of uh, staff both of those types of businesses will need vertical machining centres. Yes. So it could go, in answer to your question, anywhere. And with our case studies, that's been proven as well. We've been out there filming at a variety of companies. Now, uh, let's talk about the control. It's different. I'm not used to seeing this because there's not many buttons. No, exactly. And that's the thing with this. The first thing I saw, I looked at the machine. Obviously, I've seen the M1 before. Um, but I looked at the machine and thought, you know, this control has very, well, it has limited buttons on it. And yeah. you might look at it and think, the older generation might go, oh my God, how am I going to control it? But it's all touch screen in the majority, which, which for youngsters and for new generations of, of, of engineers coming through, this is what they're familiar with, you know, their iPads, their iPhones. So having that now adopted onto their uh, machine tools just makes perfect sense and exactly what DMG Mori are about. But you've got a click of a button and then there's a keyboard that comes up on the screen. It's just, it's got everything that it needs but it's in the 21st century. Well, you've probably even got TikTok on there, who knows? <laughs> Brilliant. Right, okay. Um, if you are interested in the M2, then make sure you're getting in touch with DMG Mori.